Hello everyone, it is from Plays here. Back in our video. Hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with um, another Vibe Game Series video. Now uh, I know I didn't post right there after, but I decided to get make this tonight. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about an admin panel. Now this isn't any ordinary admin panel that I made myself. This is a very advanced admin panel that someone made actually by themselves. And um, it is it is amazing. I'm gonna go through a lot of the docs with you and explain how to use it and what you can do with it. But um, yeah, so welcome everybody. Now, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that post notifications because it means so much to me, guys. Um, but yeah, feel free to do that. And also join the Discord because we're at a thousand members and there's giveaways. And we do a lot of stuff in there, so I'd, I'd recommend joining that. But um. Welcome everybody. Now, so what we're going to be talking about is this commander panel. Now, some of you guys may know what this is. Some of you guys may not know what it is. Now, I know you may want to be like, oh, I just want like a brand new admin panel from scratch. I'd recommend using this one. That's just because it's very advanced and I like people to bypass it wise. I don't know if that's really possible. Um, but otherwise than that, it's super advanced and it's just super nice to go through. So there's gonna be a few things you're gonna look at. Now you're gonna go in the description and look for models and you're gonna debate which one you wanna grab, okay? You can grab my version or you can just grab the straight up normal version which is made by Commander Evo. And yes guys, this is the main guy. Um, all you gotta do is just, you know, you can follow this thing, you just move it in service for service, but grab one or the other, your choice. Mine just has a little bit of touch ups in it and then this one's just normal. Um, but we're gonna explain to you how you use it and how you can use it, super easy. So just grab that and then we're gonna actually talk about that so first things first um, before we actually go into studio part this is what it was made by um, so if I go back all the way up to here so this is commander um, he is the person who made this and there is a bunch to it um, it is all made by Lua of course and uh, of course there is there we go like so hot 100% moderation and there's just tons of stuff you can do there's themes there's all this cool stuff um, their loader the github and just all that cool stuff and then the license copyright um, you can just put in your description if you want um, your choice it's not copyrighted so you're all good um, but yeah so there's the loader and it's all github but it's, it's really cool what you can do um, it's awesome but yeah, and when it comes to updating this, you just kind of have to go and check out if it's been updated, like Commander V5. I don't know when they release it, but this is all the cool documentation, so don't really worry about it. But let's actually get right into this instead. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Studio, go to Toolbox, and once you're in Toolbox, in your inventory, it's going to be the first one. It should be the Commander Admin Panel or Commander 4, one of the ones, whatever you got. Um, you're just going to click it, and for mine, it's just going to pop up this. The other one is just going to have the script by itself, but of course, it's going to say Ungroup and Service script service we're gonna bring this down ungroup in there ungroup and just delete that folder but now talking about this there's a bit to it okay now it's not too much actually it's actually really simple so in here we just have the require script now what this is gonna do is it's going to grab the actual like plugin the the, the the main thing to it um so everything in here basically i guess you could say is going to be in in there so the like, main module library Lua, Jason, all that kind of cool stuff, and see how there's just so much. I mean, I didn't check this out, but Lua, um, it's it's just amazing what they did here. So that's what I'm trying to say is it's all it's all together already. But um, what you're gonna do is just don't touch anything right there. But in settings right here is we're gonna look at everything. So now there's a lot of cool stuff right here you can help you go look at. But um, all you gotta do is mainly look at these few things, and I kind of made it just a little bit better. Um, so right here we have the module.admins. Now you can change this all you'd like, um, but I just put myself as owner. So change your name right here. And then I also added a few more names for you. So you can do name, you put your name right here. So just put it in. So let's say Tyler the creator, you know, just like anything stupid, just put it in admin and then put name another one for moderator. And that's the few three things if I'm right. So moderator, admin, and then owner. And you can also make your own if you want, it's actually possible. But um, I'm not too descriptive on that. Just recommend just using these three. And how you add, of course, is just you put a comma after, put the brackets, and then put uh, da, 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 another name equals, and then you could do admin, you know, whatever you want to do. Maybe try and get it in order, but your choice. Um, so yeah, that, or I think you could probably do, no, you can't do that. Um, oh wait, name and then comma. You could all, oh wait, no, I don't know if you can do that, whatever. Let's just not worry about that. <laughs> and also just make sure there's a line. 
one comma not at the end though so this is the pri the permissions it kind of talks a little bit so moderator has permissions of kick chat logs join logs check ban this this and that um i'd recommend keeping this the same because you know kick is normal so do that um now if you want to see what it, what it looks like is what we're doing is priorities one okay and then we're uh making these permissions there these are the permissions you can make it like unview instead of unview you could do ban you know you could add anything from here but this is gonna be priority two and this is priority three okay and then this is gonna inherit moderator so all of the admins are are going to have what the moderators have and then all of the owners are going to have what the admins have which is going to be ban shut down time ban unban system message server lock owner this this that um also talking about server lock actually so i added one more thing i forgot to add in here but we'll talk about it in a second um for the ui wise this is the accent so you can change this color right here so this is what the button color looks like when you select it and i'll show you in a bit here um, I'll just change it to purple for now and I'll show you now talking about the themes you can change this to material or minimal dark so this is a dark theme and this is light theme I just made it so you don't have to worry about it now keybind you can do semicolon this is where you can change the keybind to anything to open the commander panel um, but yeah and then this is just disable credits and high donations just set to true because you know you don't really need that but um, this is another theme you can worry about and yeah so now talking about packages so I added this and this is skip song now now, um, I might need to go like this and grab this real quick but what we need to look at is there's actually another one so if we add that in here um, it's it skips song um, but what it is is basically you can do a bunch of stuff with it so if you look at um, right here this is a module and we're putting it into packages so you can create your own packages and I'm gonna show you in a bit here but you just put your name in here put the description and the location server um, and when they execute it um, what you're gonna do is this is where you're gonna do the script part so if you want to make something fun okay and you want to just add it to the admin panel so like maybe just like a confetti popper or just something like stupid you know just like uh, <laughs> it can be literally anything guys um, you can add it to this panel by making a whole new thing right here so I would just duplicate this um, adding in here change the name description and then keep the location the same though and then right here you do the code so like I said you can do anything about this um, but it's it's pretty cool so now talking after that we're actually just gonna test this out and show you how it works because it's honestly pretty simple and um, it's really cool so um, when you load in it's just gonna pop up everything for you um, it's gonna say commander listening to clients now remember guys you're gonna have to go into game settings and turn on HTTP service if you want to test this in studio but um, what this looks like is, of course, as you can see, um, it pops up all this cool stuff, um, and that's it. And then in the top right is the commander panel. Now, this is the dark theme, but as you can see, there's player accounts, administrators in game, and then it has your name on it. And then you can go over here. Now, see how it's purple? That is the con uh, color. Now, this is where you can do a lot of the cool stuff. So you can do, um, you know, twin. So if I want to do that, search it up. And then I can uh, god myself. So I can god myself. I can kill myself. You know, like all that cool stuff. Um, and then in the server, this is where we have these cool, cool commands parts. So server side is when we're talking about um, the server side. So when we want to put something, we want to check the server. So we have chat logs, command logs, join logs, message, uh, system message. So this is when you'd be like, welcome. And then you'd hit submit. And do a system message and then skip song well we don't have uh, a song right now in so I did an error but I added this for you guys so if you have a song playing it will play the song for it will skip the song okay so you can just have that added so that's your choice that's what I added and this is shut down slock so you can lock the player lock the server then there's just the donate and then the about so it, it's honestly really really cool so um, that's just something I wanted to say and show you guys now we can just go back and stop it um, I can show you how I'm gonna change the uh, theme real quick and show you the other one but that's pretty much it you guys super easy just change your name um, so I'm gonna go like that and then actually just like that um, and but like I said guys just change your names add the admins add the moderators add the owners and I'd very recommend using this because it is super cool super awesome and it's brand new but yeah you guys so now when we go back inside when we click it it's gonna be white this time so that's what the other cool color looks like your choice do whatever you'd like <laughs> um, but yeah and you guys like you said you can do anything so test shutting down four Three, two, one. I don't think you can do that in a uh, studio, but oh, oh, you can. 
<laughs> okay, well, that's it for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share, everyone. Um, I got another few videos coming. We got Zayda reward systems and all this cool stuff coming. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.